Howdy folks, Farmer Kurt. Uh, we're out in the garden bed patch next to some kohlrabi we transplanted last week. And I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, our, our uh, pest management practices. We use these little yellow sticky cards uh, to, to identify what uh, pests are out in our garden beds. So if you look really close, you can see a bunch of bugs or insects on there. There's a few leaf hoppers and a lot of, uh, of gnats, um, catching a few flea beetles, which is what we're looking for right now. So in previous years, I've had like a very large influx of flea beetles, and they're a pretty bad pest for a lot of brassicas. It's like all the, the turnips we raise, the arugula, the mesclun mix, um, and even on the cabbage and broccoli, they just mow some of those down in spring, which um, they normally don't on some farms. So did a lot of research over the winter, and a person out in California says uh, that they use this um, it's like a tree kind of stick, uh, stick kind of substance where they put it on, on a, a, a gallon of water or a gallon of milk jug and during the day the, the sun beats down on this and it, it heats this water in here and then they say that the, the flea beetles are attracted to that warmth at night and once they come on, onto that, that uh, sticky stuff they can't get, get out so um, this one doesn't have too many, it has a lot, quite a few fruit flies on it but you can see the smaller ones there are, there are, are some are some flea beetles on that sucker. So out in the field, at one of the spots, I've collected probably over 200 on one of these. So it's doing its job. So we'll see how, we'll try to get that first flush and try and get, you know, uh, trap them as much as we can and then uh, go from there. So why is your um, card yellow? Is that a attracting color? Yeah, attracting, attracting color, yes. Okay. Yep. So spring, spring kind of blooms are either white or yellow. And if you see a, la a large number of the, a certain kind of insect on that trap, then that is a trigger for you to do something? Or? Yes, we have a certain, th certain threshold for different insects. Um, so when we have a certain quantity of, say, uh, potato beetles per plant or per square foot or whatever, uh, we know it's, it's time to spray. Um, we, we look for potato beetles, we look for the larva. If we see a larva infestation, uh, if it's a small infestation, we can do some spot spraying, we'll do a spot spraying. If it's, if it's a pretty heavy one, we'll do, use the field sprayer and mm -hmm. knock them back. Um, flea beetles you cover because we do a lot of coverage, so we usually yeah. do a lot of row cover. Yeah. We can't really use any insecticide for those. Right. And then to clarify, when you're when you're saying that you spray, we ha we are spraying with organic certified they're organic. Organic certified. They're OMRI listed products. So they're a lot more softer type products that are either um, plant or soil based, you know, bacterial, fungi based type that products. That are allowed by the. They're allowed by the certification. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, that's a little education for you about sticky traps um, and how we do pest management on an organic farm. Thanks, Farmer Kurt. Yep. Bye now.